All right, today I've got another video I am super excited to share. This is Modern Marketing Research, Empathy Mapping and Netnography using, of course, ChatGPT. So Modern Marketing Research is now, in my opinion, this combination of empathy mapping and netnography. It, I had no idea what netnography was uh, that, not that long ago, uh, but we're gonna get into defining what that means. It can lead to a very comprehensive understanding of your customers, which can help with better marketing, AKA higher conversions. It can lead to better informed decisions. And this video is gonna help you gain deep, deep insights into your customers' emotions, motivations, and help you uncover emerging trends and hidden needs that capture real life consumer perspectives. And this is critical as AI is basically changing the world that we live in on a daily basis. I have run a marketing agency for 10 years and a lot of folks are always, everybody's focused on conversions and they always use technical tools to try to approach these conversion rates. But by understanding your customer is the real key to increasing your conversions. Uh, so that's what we're gonna get into today. Step one, we're gonna define objectives and find your customer communities. I've got four prompts for you there. Um, then we're gonna get into the, actually four different methods for collecting the data. We're gonna look at how to clean the data. I've got a bunch of prompts for that. We're gonna look at creating the empathy map, various prompts and tools there. We're gonna put your research into action. There's actually 11 great prompts for that. And triangulation, so taking your research to the next level. After that, I'm gonna talk a little bit about how to create some code that can help with all of this. And I wanna highlight that all of this is in my Patreon. For just a few bucks, you can get a complete cheat sheet with everything, with all of the prompts that you can just copy and paste into ChatGPT and really get going quickly. So understanding your customer problems, this is gonna help you find relevant solutions. It's gonna help you foster loyalty. It's gonna differentiate you from your customers. It's gonna optimize every aspect of your marketing and make it a much less of an uphill battle as the competition is gonna get super steep out there with uh, all sorts of AI inventions that are gonna be flooding onto the market. This is gonna enhance your customer experience. It's gonna help you make more informed decisions and really facilitate your growth and adaptability, which is gonna be key in this changing environment. So I've got the sneakers here. This is, we're gonna show you how to walk a mile in your customer's shoes and understand them better than they know themselves. First, I wanna talk a little bit about the problems with traditional market research. When I talk about traditional market research, I'm talking about surveys, focus groups, interviews, I've run a fair amount of most of these and I know that they have significant limitations. They lack depth. There's a response bias as people are trying to tell you what they think you wanna hear. There's a limited scope where you're missing a lot of the emerging trends. It's, you know, these folks are in an artificial setting when they're, when they're responding to this. And all of this is at super high cost. So uh, the process we're gonna go through today really breaks through these limitations in a big way. So what's netnography and how does it relate to empathy mapping? So netnography is a research method that involves studying online communities and digital interactions to better understand customers or users. It's developed by Robert Kosnets, I believe. Uh, it allows you to gain insight into your target audience's needs, pain points, motivations in natural real world context. And that's critical. We're going to actually be using the language that your customer uses in your marketing. And that's going to that's gonna make them understand where you're coming from, understand your messaging, and be that much more impactful. So Empathy Map is closely related to this. It's a tool that's used to gain a deeper understanding of your customer by capturing what they say, think, do, and feel, along with their pain points and desired outcomes. So using these two methods in conjunction with LLMs like ChatGPT will allow us to understand your customers in the deepest way possible at a fraction of the cost and time of the traditional methods. And this knowledge, getting this foundational marketing knowledge is gonna help improve all of your future prompts. And that is what's gonna improve your business faster than anything. So let's jump into it. Step number one, divining your objectives and finding the communities. Here's the first prompt for you. And these are gonna start off short and sweet. Obviously, you can, you can modify these however you see fit and experiment. 
But prompt number one, please create an extensive list of the different problems that your customers currently face. So just starting very general, I think, is, is kind of an interesting way to go. Uh, so you're not steering it in, in the wrong direction based on what you think is their problems are. Now here's an alternate version of that. Please create an extensive list of the different problems that your customers currently face related to your product or service. Um, and then a final one here, suggest research objectives related to understanding customer needs in the X sector. So this can really just give you kind of a broad scope of the problems that your customers are facing or uh, the, the desires that they have. And even if you think you know your customers very well, I encourage you to not skip this step. I was serving a customer group for 10 years and I thought I knew them super well. I did this and there was some major pain points that I had been missing, probably the biggest pain points I had been missing all along for 10 years. So don't make my mistake, do this and get started uh, in, in the right direction. From there, the LLM, ChatGPT, is going to generate a bunch of different uh, ideas here, and not all of those are going to be related to your service. Some of these are going to be problems that they're experiencing that you can't help them with. Some are going to be unrelated to your, your, your product or service. So you want to hone in on the ones that really are relevant to you, and that's where prompt two comes in. So you want to say numbers one and five seem most relevant to me, whatever the most relevant ones are, obviously. Uh, so please create a comprehensive list of the online platforms and communities where put in your customers discuss their experiences and preferences related to objectives one and five uh, prompt number three once you have that you want to say uh, regarding prompts number one and five please generate a list of books that your customers might read to solve these problems or you can put in there other products that people might buy to solve these problems if you're selling a physical product. And this is going to be really interesting. I'm going to show you how to use uh, this with your Amazon uh, to find some Amazon reviews that will really accelerate your understanding of your customers here. So these two prompts, the first one is helping you capture all the different online platforms and communities. It's going to spit out things like Reddit, like Quora, Twitter, Facebook, groups, LinkedIn groups, uh, G2 uh, are, are some of the things you can expect to see here. Prompt three, you want to just get a list of books that your audience is really reading related to whatever uh, problem you're helping them solve um, or physical products you can put in there as well. Okay, cruising right along. Once we have that, we're getting into the step of collecting the data. There's a lot of different ways to do this. The easiest is just the simple copy and paste. So visiting those different uh, communities that uh, ChatGPT has, has pointed you to, uh, you can kind of copy and paste from those uh, and start collecting the data. But ideally, you want to get a lot of data so uh, it can be really time intensive to copy and paste. There are some pretty cool pre-built software tools. I think this is currently my number one recommendation. I'm, I'm going to get into that in a second. There's also the ability to use ChatGPT to create custom scripts, and I'm going to show you how to do that at the end of this video. And I also have a working version uh, for Reddit uh, in my Patreon that can help you uh, scrape some things off of uh, Reddit in particular. I'll give you an example of how to do that. Um, of course, ChatGPT plugins, uh, at the time of this recording, they just recently came out and they're a little bit buggy. They don't seem to be all that helpful right now. The browse feature just hasn't been working great for me, but I, you know, there's a chance by the time you're watching it that, that that will be the number one way to do all of this once they get that kind of ironed out. So those are the four ways to collect this data. We're gonna dive into the pre-built software section because that's what I've had the most success with. There's a tool called Octoparse out there, which is a web scraper that will uh, really help you grab all this stuff. It's not, you don't have to be a coder to figure it out. It has a lot of great features, a lot easier than creating your own scripts, but it does come at a cost. It isn't cheap. I believe it's about $90 a month, but there is this 14 day free trial window, which, um, you know, if you're just doing this for your own customers, then I think there's a lot you can get done inside of that 14 day window. You might not need to pay uh, for it. If you're running an agency and you're doing this for a lot of different clients, you may want to consider that paid version. There's a link to Octoparse in the 
in the description below. Um, what it does provide is these awesome templates where it's just out of the box, ready to go. This is including the Amazon review template, which we're going to focus on here in a second. Um, Parse Hub is another widely used tool that you might want to consider if for some reason Octoparse isn't working for you. All right, so that Octoparse Amazon review template is, um, is pretty powerful and that might be a great way to get started by using that. Um, to collect the two to four star reviews related to the books that your customers are reading or the products that your customers are using. Remember just a couple steps ago, we asked ChatGPT to list out the related books or products that your, your audience or your customer base may be interested in. And now we're going to filter those out using Octoparse and just grab the two to four star reviews. This filters out the five star that are like the super fans. And it also filters out the one star that are just kind of cranky people. And it surfaces maybe some actionable insights where people are like, hey, you know what? This book, I was hoping it would cover X, Y, Z. I was hoping it would help me with this problem. And you're getting their words of exactly how they're describing their pain points. Uh, that you can use in all of your marketing and we'll get into how to use that very soon. Now we want to clean the data. This has been an amazing uh, way to use ChatGPT. I'm going to start here with the prompt. So this is the prompt where you want to type this into ChatGPT. Ideally you're using GPT-4 or better. Um, that gives you the best results with all of these prompts. So this one is, please analyze the provided text and extract key sentences that offer insights into the thoughts, feelings, actions, and experiences of these potential customers. Focus on their pain points, desired gains, and emotional responses. Please return the unedited phrases or sentences that fit this criteria. No summary is necessary. Here is the text. And you want to copy in just the raw the raw data that you grabbed using Octoparse or copy and paste or however you grabbed it and you want to um, just drop all of that into ChatGPT and let it do the cleaning and surface the ones that um, the comments that are the most impactful and ideally you've got a lot of raw data to start with the more the better but you've got to chunk that into these different uh, character blocks uh, in order to get that all into ChatGPT. So, the, you know, for me, it was this 10,000 character block was about as much as I could get away with. That's always changing. I think some people can't get access to that much. Some people may be able to access more. There's a different large language model um, by Anthropic that should allow you to put in a lot more. So that might be worth looking into. But you want to repeat that until you've gotten through all the data that you've collected from the various uh, different communities and or the Amazon reviews. Uh, here's a resource, the ca wordcounter.net can help you just know how much you're chop chopping in and putting into uh, ChatGPT and make sure it's not just too much where it's overloading the system or just too little where it's going to take you forever to get through all of it. Awesome. So from there, you should have uh, copied and pasted all of those relevant um, unedited phrases or sentences copy and paste those into some format of a document and now we're going to use that to create the empathy map here step four you're going to use this prompt so analyze the following list of comments and categorize them uh, according to the four quadrants of an empathy map say think feel do please return the unedited phrases or sentences that fit this criteria then provide a brief summary of the key insights and patterns observed in each quadrant to better understand the user's experience. Here is the text. So you want to drop in everything that uh, you got from the clean uh, data in here and create the empathy map, which is awesome. Now we're, we're sorting it into these different areas um, that will help us put this into action. So here are a bunch of prompts of things that you can do with this empathy map. Ideally, after that step four, you're going to have a pretty cool summary of your market using the exact terminology, the exact words that they are using to describe their problem. And those can make for very powerful headlines, very powerful social media copy, any sort of marketing language. And the insights there can be very helpful in future prompts. So here are some things you can do. A general prompt just based on the empathy map for your product or service there. Suggest product improvements, marketing strategies, and customer support initiatives to better address customer needs and preferences. Here is the empathy map. So copying that in, 
or you can use all these if they're in that same chat uh, that you just went through. It should be in the memory of, uh, of ChatGPT already and you don't need to copy and paste it back in. Uh, number two, critical features prompt. Based on this empathy map, please create an extensive list of features that, and then briefly describe your service, must have to completely address the needs of these customers and users. This is an awesome one. Kind of goes through all of the different things that, that your, your product or service really needs to have in order to satisfy these customers. Key quote prompts. So based on this empathy map, please return the quotes that would be most beneficial to highlight the marketing messages for a, and then you br briefly describe your services there. So pulling out the really key quotes that would be most helpful. Number four, marketing messages prompt. Using the insights from this empathy map or for a persona name, and you can put in the name of your persona, propose marketing messages or strategies that resonate with their preferences and emotions. Now you're really using the full power of ChatGPT to create marketing uh, collateral. This is much better than just saying, hey, give me five you know, Instagram quotes about a, a product. This is, you're, you're embedding it with uh, the, a deep understanding of your customers. Number five, stakeholder communication prompts. So draft a presentation or report that summarizes the key findings from the empathy map to share with stakeholders. So if, if this is, you're doing this for your job, you wanna create a report that shows your, uh, your management team what you found, this can be a great way to do that. UX improvement suggestions here. Number six, analyze our empathy map and provide suggestions to prov improve the user experience of our product and service focusing on specific touch points and interactions. Number seven here, identify pain points. So based on the empathy map, identify the top three pain points for our users and suggest potential solutions to address them. Number eight, tailoring communications. Help us craft communication strategies that resonate with our target audience, considering their emotions, needs, and desires as is highlighted in this empathy map. This is powerful stuff. So number nine, user persona. Generate insights and recommendations based on the empathy map for the following user persona and insert their persona details there. Content creation prompt, provide ideas for blog posts or articles that address the concerns and interests of our users based on the empathy map. And number 11, team alignment. This is for, for the internal team. Suggest workshops for my team to encourage un, an understanding and empathy for our users based on the insights gained from this empathy map. So you wanna get all of your team rowing in the right direction and rowing towards helping your customers and their key pain points so they're not building stuff, creating stuff that's just not gonna resonate with your market. Awesome. So from here, you know, you may do this a few different times. You may f do this for, you know, very specific different features or maybe you have different, slightly different services or slightly different uh, customer bases. So once you've done this a few times, you can feed multiple empathy maps back into the GPT to get re further refine the insights here. And here's an easy prompt for that. Please analyze the following empathy maps to create a new one based on their commonalities. Now I have all of these prompts in my Patreon in a very cut and paste uh, PDF, so you don't need to jot them down. They're all right there for just a few bucks. It helps me support this channel and there's a ton of resources in there and there's a ton coming out. So make sure to check that out. Now I'm gonna just drop, drop jump back a little bit and talk a little bit about how to use uh, ChatGPT along with Google Collab to create custom scripts for data collection. I have a uh, Google Collab quick start video that I'll link to in the description if this is something you're interested in, but you can use this in order to create uh, ways of scraping Reddit and different, uh, different areas. So here is a prompt here. I'm not gonna read this uh, out, but this is a prompt that I've created that actually analyzes subreddits and grabs uh, them based on different keywords, etc. I have a working version of this in my Patreon as well. I also have uh, other videos about this uh, text to code process here, which can be really cool to create these powerful tools to help collect this data. So that creates a uh, something like this that you can put into your Google Collab and uh, start experimenting with that. If you're technically minded, there's a lot of resources that I'm building uh, related to that. Um, and here, just some thoughts on, other thoughts on data collection. 
Reddit and Twitter, you currently do can access their API, which makes that fairly easy to collect data from those. Slack, you must be a community member in order to do that. Facebook groups, very limited API, so I wouldn't really mess around with that. And Quora, LinkedIn groups, G2, these do not provide official API for data collection. So you might wanna look at the tools like Octoparse for those. Okay, well that's an, a lot. Uh, thanks for sticking with me. I hope that that was helpful. Again, there's a PDF cheat sheet for this and all of my videos available in my Patreon for just a few bucks a month. There are working Google collabs uh, that can walk you through how to start creating some custom scripts there for collecting some of this data. And I've got some options for some one-on-one -on -one coaching and consulting. If you're struggling with something, I'd love to chat with you about that and uh, really put you in my accelerator program. But again, thanks for watching. Please feel free to like, subscribe, comment. It really, I've heard people say that so many times, but as I'm trying to get this channel off the ground, that is super helpful. And I will see you in the next video.